This is a MacBook Air that I had for a couple of years and recently it started playing up with um, randomly turning on and off. The only change I made recently was I lost the power adapter and a friend of mine gave me one of his and this is an 85 watt MacBook Ma MagSafe 2 power adapter. Um, to fix the problem on the MacBook Air I have replaced the battery SSD, reinstalled the operating system, I have done a diagnostic test, I have uh, done a PRAM reset, nothing helped. Randomly it was just shut down and it won't turn on until this part of the area of the laptop cools down. So, and I suspect this MacBook charger is actually a fake one. Now I'm not sure yet, I haven't opened it up yet, and I believe I have um, eight reasons to say that it's fake. So, let's go through them. And at the end of the video, I will disassemble this and let's see what it looks like. Okay, the first issue I found out. Now, I have handled many MacBook chargers in the past. And if you can see, there is a color difference. See how this is a bit darker gray? and the casing is more whitish color that's one difference two this part here connecting to the wall feels too light i have handled the ipad chargers and the other macbook chargers this part is usually a little bit more heavier it feels very cheap plasticky as you can see it bends quite easily the original ones, if I remember, they're quite strong. Yeah. So it feels very light, very plasticky. That's one of the giveaways. The third giveaway, I believe, there is a... some kind of a film protector around here. So it's from all the way here onwards, going up. I tried peeling it off, I couldn't. It's really hard to see on the reflection, but have a look at yours. See if there is some kind of a reflection of a film which is stuck around here. Maybe to help this adapter going in and not loose, giving it a quality feel. Even going, it, going inside it feels a bit too cheap. Okay. The fourth giveaway is this serial number here. It's a sticker which is placed in that placeholder, but it actually is not put on properly. It's actually peeling off a little bit on the right side. I doubt Apple will do such a job. And the reason why it's peeling off, they stuck it a little bit to the right, not fully centered. Probably someone in a factory doing it by hand. One of the main reasons making me do this video is when I was handling this power adapter, I noticed these gaps in between. If you notice, it's kind of opening up, which is not usual for Apple chargers, especially they're really well glued and you really have to force it to open. So, as you can see, there are little holes, bigger hole over here and this part especially kind of opening up hmm. the sixth giveaway is these joints they feel very very hard to press nearly break my finger there it's extremely hard you can feel it's not smooth it's probably gonna break in there somehow they're using a hard plastic and you can hear that sound this is not what the original makes it's very rough, looks like a poor finish, and there is a bit of color difference between these two especially, hard to see on the camera. Another thing I noticed is this cable tie, it's just too loose, if I remember in the original Apple ones they're quite hard 
as in they don't fall that quickly like this is as if uh, made by a third party the cable comes off easily as well so that's another giveaway now this last giveaway is a bit um, interesting one I found this on another YouTube um, video where when you plug it into the power the when you plug it into the power and then connect it to your MacBook the green or the orange light comes on immediately now in the original ones it doesn't come on immediately it gives about 6 volts first tests whether the laptop is receiving the power and then it starts giving the power at its maximum whereas this one is giving power at its maximum regardless and I wonder if this is what damaged the laptop so here I'm going to connect it to the power I'll demonstrate to you okay it's currently connected to the power no lights yet now we're going to connect it to the MacBook here we go Ready? Watch the light. One, two, three. See how immediate that is? It's super instantaneous. And the battery is at the moment 71%. But it is very quick. Now I'm not sure if this is a feature in the MagSafe 2 that it's very quick. We'll find out in the next tear apart video. Here we go. Let's tear it up. All right, now we're going to disassemble this unit. Let's see what's really inside this. Now, before disassembling, um, make sure you connect it to your MacBook to drain any power left out of it without being plugged into the power source. Okay, so here we go. Now remember the part we had a little bit of uh, opening, that should be the easiest part to start with, just do a quick test, okay I guess that's where it's going to be, hmm, Okay, the clippy bit. Oh yeah, I remember that part. That's the part that actually makes the sound. Oh, the other part fell out. Okay, here we go. Ooh. I wonder if this was the original. Ooh, looks like it's not. What the hell? That is so dodgy. This is 100% not genuine. Okay. Now, clean up this mess. This is getting interesting. Now, this is supposed to be some kind of a um, heat sink or take the heat away. But right now, what it is, is to create extra weight. And it is, it does feel quite heavy. Wow. How dodgy is this? Seriously, very dodgy. Okay, 
yep, some kind of a sticky tape to hold it in place. Very secure indeed. What have we got? We got the earthing, positive and the negative. Hmm, okay. So they're using a tape to hold it all in place. So it's one metal shield coming all the way from here, going around there, coming on top. So it's just a sticker tape holding it in place. Hmm, I'm not really impressed. This probably has the minimum required safety standards, maximum profits, minimum safety, shame, there we go, so, peeling it off, feel a bit scared, and maybe some charge in the capacitors, Kind of a leak or overheating, who knows? Let's continue. Another shield here, heat sink. Okay, voila, there we go. Right. So this is supposedly genuine, my eyes. Yeah, very little electronics comparison to the Apple original one. Look, this is clearly, clearly not an original one. There we go. So we busted this one. Although it's got all the Apple logo, all the similar tags and fake certifications somebody can die from this here we go you can take a very close look Just looking at the um, soldering job here, not impressive either, I mean not a good manufacturing. You can see the solder mark here, the way it's done. Check this part out, maybe they were meant to be joined. I really don't know the schematics of this. But yeah, not safe, and probably the main reason why my MacBook Air is now shutting down randomly. Ah, bugger. I should have known. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Always buy your MacBook chargers direct from Apple. Pay a bit more. Guaranteed safety. Thank you for watching.